Hi friends. Today I am talking about one of the method to determine the molecular weight. There are different type of molecular weight. They are number average molecular weight, weight average molecular weight and viscosity average molecular weight. We all know about colligative properties. Colligative properties are measured property which depends only on total number of molecules regardless of their size or mass. These colligative properties will give number average molecular weight. There are different methods to determine number average molecular weight. Some of them are cryoscopic method, ebliometry, etc. And these are physical methods and there are some chemical methods for example n-group analysis. N-group analysis is a chemical method which will give number average molecular weight of a polymer having reactive functional n-groups. Next, viscosity average molecular weight. Viscosity average molecular weight can be determined by viscosity measurements. At last, weight average molecular weight. If we measure property, depends not only on the total number of solute particles or molecules, or but it also depends on the size and nature. It will give weight average molecular weight. Here, bigger molecules contribute to the measured property than smaller ones. These measurements will give weight average molecular weight. Weight average molecular weight can be determined by using light scattering, ultra centrifuge technique, etc. Now let us discuss about the determination of molecular weight by cryoscopic method. We know the freezing point of a solvent is lowered when a non-volatile solute is dissolved in it. This lowering in the freezing point is known as depression in the freezing point. That is, when we add a non-volatile solute to a pure solvent, the freezing point of the solvent will be lowered. And this is known as depression in the freezing point. For example, we all know water freezes at 0 degrees Celsius. But when we add NaCl or CaCl2 to the water, it will no longer freeze at this temperature. It will freeze at a temperature lower than 0 degrees Celsius. It may freeze at minus 2 degrees Celsius or minus 4 degrees Celsius, etc. If we add NaCl or CaCl2 to that, that is, by the dissolution of a solute in it, the freezing point of water is depressed. In general, we can say that the solution freezes at a temperature lower than at which the pure solvent do. The cryoscopic technique is based on the phenomenon of depression in the freezing point by the addition of a solute. And the extent of depression in the freezing point depends on the number of solute molecules dissolved per unit volume of the solution and it is independent of the size or mass and nature of the solute. By using cryoscopic method, we get an equation that delta Tf by C is equal to Rtf square divided by rho delta Hf into 1 by mn bar plus dc. Here, mn bar is the number average molecular weight and delta Tf is the depression in the freezing point, C is the concentration and rho is the density of the solvent and Tf is the freezing point of the pure solvent and B is a constant, it's a constant called second variable coefficient and delta Hf is the heat of fusion of the solvent and R we all know is the universal it is constant. Now let us discuss about the experimental method. The freezing point of the pure solvent and of very dilute solution of the polymer sample in different concentration can be determined using standard freezing point technique or cryoscopic technique. See one method. The solvent or the solution is carefully supercooled to a temperature that is about 5 degrees Celsius lower than the freezing point. Then the supercooled liquid is stirred. 
while stirring it starts freezing rapidly with a rise in temperature and it attains a maximum value and then it drops down for example if we are taking naphthalene and the naphthalene is super cool to a temperature that is about 5 degrees celsius lower than the freezing point and then we start stirring the super cool liquid and the changes and the changes can be seen in this first graph here the temperature first decreases and at a point it reaches and at a point it start increasing the temperature start increasing and reaches a maximum value and then falls and this maximum temperature attained and this maximum temperature attained is the freezing point of the pure solvent here naphthalene and then we add small amount of a non volatile solution for example if we are taking biphenyl and we do the same procedure and the graph is plotted at first the temperature decreases and at a point it start increasing and reaches a maximum value and then falls down and this maximum point the maximum temperature it attained is the freezing point of the solution the temperature difference between the freezing point of the pure solvent and that of the freezing point of the solution is known as depression in the freezing point that is delta t f by knowing the freezing point of the solvent and solution of different concentration delta t f can be calculated for these concentration using this data a plot of delta t f versus e is plotted here we can see the graph this delta t f is plotted against concentration and the graph is extrapolated to infinite dilution but infinite dilution in zero concentration from the value of the ordinate intercept of the plot at zero concentration the number average molecular weight can be determined by using the equation delta t f by c where c tends to zero here delta t f by c where concentration is going to zero zero concentration delta t f by c where c tends to zero is equal to r t f square by delta h f into rho into 1 by m n bar there are some drawbacks for cryoscopic methods the main drawback is in the measurement of temperature the temperature difference between the freezing point of the solvent and solution that is delta t f may be in the order of 0.001 degree celsius hence it needs high precision temperature sensor in order to measure it accurately by the invention of the thermistors high amplification sophisticated electronic devices the temperature measurement become more accurate now the temperature changes as small as 0.0001 degree celsius can be measured with a high precision another limitation is in the measurement of molecular weight the polymer with molecular weight beyond certain value start becoming unreliable we know from the equation from this equation here from this equation as the molecular weight as the molecular weight mn bar start increasing the depression in the freezing point as the molecular weight become increasing the depression in the freezing point delta t f is in smaller and smaller value which become increasingly difficult to measure the molecular weight with accuracy by using cryoscopic method 
we can calculate the molecular weight of the polymer um, up to the molecular if the polymer is having molecular weight up to 30,000 can be measured by using cryoscopic technique with a high almost with high accuracy beyond this molecular weight vapor, vapor phase osmometry provide more reliable methods as compared to cryoscopy and ebullimetry these are the limitations of cryoscopic technique that's all for today thank you